Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set abnormal heart rate alerts on your Garmin Instinct 2X Solar Watch. This is something you can do on the watch as well as in the Garmin Connect app on your cell phone and then simply sync the changes over to your watch. So just some basic information, pretty common knowledge. You have to have the heart rate sensor turned on in order for these alerts to work. The heart rate sensor is off. You're not going to get any alerts because it's not going to be reading your heart rate. You might be wondering, why is it reading my heart rate if it's not on my wrist? You have your finger back there on that sensor it'll continue to read your heart rate there's different ways of displaying your heart rate information you can see that i've got it on my watch face here so you can see over the last uh, several hours what my heart rate's been doing if my heart rate gets to a certain value either high or low you can have the watch notify you it's going to use whatever alert settings you've got set up in your uh, system settings for alerts whether that's a beep a vibrate beep and vibrate or a silent alert there's a couple of different ways we can get to this. I'm gonna press the up or down button to get to my glance listing. If you have the heart rate glance installed, which I do, when you're on the glance, you can press and hold the menu button. It's the middle button on the left-hand side. That will take you into your uh, sub-menu for that glance. The very first option is going to be heart rate options. If I press the GPS button to choose heart rate options, I can use the up or down button and we can see the abnormal heart rate alerts. When you're on that value, simply press the GPS button and you can predefine how you want these alerts to be set up. You don't have to have a high and a low alert. So if you just wanna set a high alert, you'll notice the first option is high alert. I can turn it on. And then when you turn it on, it's gonna ask you what threshold do you want? So at what point does the watch need to let me know that my heart rate is too high? I can press GPS on that threshold and I can set whatever value I want to. So I'm going to say, if my heart rate gets to 150 beats per minute, alert me. Optionally, you could also set a low alert. You'll notice that mine is set to off. If I turn it on, it opens up the threshold for the low alert. And again, I can go down and I can adjust that alert. The low threshold alert is currently at 40 beats per minute. If I press the GPS button, I can set that value to whatever I want to. Those values will remain in your watch. So if you uh, start getting uh, alerts and they're too often or whatever, you can go back in here and you can adjust them. You can also just go back in here and simply toggle these off. If you decide, ah, I don't wanna get any alerts today or something like that, you can just turn them off. Again, you don't have to have the high alert on. If you just wanna put the low alert on, that's totally fine. And again, it'll remember whatever value you had set. Set it the way you want to, and then you can press the back button to get back to your main watch face. That's one way to do it. That's doing it if you have the glance installed. You don't have to have the heart rate glance installed in order to use the heart rate sensor and the heart rate values. I'm gonna show you now how you can go and adjust, set up those alerts without using the glance. From the main watch face, you can press and hold the menu button. That'll take you to the main menu on your watch. Now we could use the up or down button to go through the different values. What we're looking for here is health and wellness. When we're on health and wellness, we'll press the GPS button. The very first option under health and wellness is heart rate. Press GPS and we're exactly in the same place as we were before that we got to through the glance. You'll notice the status. Again, if you turn this off, you can't do any of the things I just showed you. But while it's on, you can get back down to your abnormal heart rate alerts and go through the exact same settings that we just looked at. This watch has various different ways to get to basically the same thing. I personally like doing it this way because that menu is not adjustable. You will always have your health and wellness option in your menu, whereas the glances you can set to whatever values you want. Anyway, pretty simple stuff. That's how you set your abnormal heart rate alerts on the Garmin Instinct 2X Solar Watch. I hope the video helps.